In this section, we're going to talk about how to use Venn diagrams. As you can see, the Venn diagram is made up of two interlocking circles. In this section, you would put something that satisfies whatever condition. For this example, let's say we want to use the factors, factors of 18. In this circle, we would have to put another condition. So for today's example, we will use factors of 24. If you look in the center section where they overlap, here is where no anything goes that satisfies condition A and condition B. So in this part of the Venn diagram, I would put anything that is a factor of both 18 and 24. So now let's go ahead and use the Venn diagram with some numbers. If I were to give you a Venn diagram as a class work problem or homework problem, the directions would say something like this. List the numbers 1 through 30 in the correct section of the Venn diagram. So since we've been working with factors for a while, the first thing you would have to do would be to list the factors of 18 and 24. So I know from my experience of working with factors that the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. And I also know that the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So now that I've correctly listed the factors of both numbers I'm working with, I want to go ahead and identify which factors are in both lists. So if I look right at the beginning of my list, 1 is the first factor that's common, 2 is also common, 3 is also common, and 6 is also common. Now there are no other numbers that are common, which means appear in both lists. So now I'm going to take this information back to my Venn diagram to help me correctly place the numbers 1 through 30. So I'm going to take the number 1. Because it's my first common number, that means it satisfies both conditions. So it is going to go in the overlapping or section of the Venn diagram. 2 is also common, so it would also go there. 3 is in both lists, so it goes there. Now 4 is the first number that is not in both lists but it is a factor of 24, so 4 would appear in the section of the Venn diagram that represents factors of 24. Now if I look at 5, 5 does not appear in either lists, so this number goes outside of the Venn diagram. Because it's not a it doesn't satisfy condition A and it doesn't satisfy condition B. So any number that is like 5 would be outside of your Venn diagram. If I go back to my list of 1 through 30, 6 is again a common number, and it's the last common number. 7 is it's like 5. It's not a part of either, so it goes outside. 8 is only a factor of 24. 9 is only a factor of 18, and I'm going to stop with 10, and it's not in either list, so it would also go outside of your Venn diagram. Now, if I go ahead and finish this up, it would look something like this. Now, if you look at what I've done in the example of 19 through 23, Instead of listing each number individually, I put 
a dash. The reason being because 19 through 23 are consecutive numbers. What that means is I start counting with 19 and I could keep going to 23. 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And if I look at my lists, all of those numbers are not in both lists. So because of this, I could put them on the outside and I could put the first number and the last number. And that would include all of the numbers in between. Well, I hope this helps you to use a Venn diagram and good luck.